okay. This better be cool. Okay, that was fun. I wish the bowl had more paint in it, um, but you know, oh well, I'll take what I can get. I'm not gonna do it again. I was gonna shower and then get ready and then shoot this video, but I decided why not just jump into it while I still had the adrenaline in me. Why not shoot the video without makeup on, but instead just paint on my face and paint on my hair. I don't know, why not? It's been a pretty cool couple weeks since the last time I was talking to my camera here for on a Sunday. Um, we hit a thousand likes on Facebook on Friday, hence the paint bucket on my hair. Um, last night, Saturday night, we had a pretty cool event at the Hi-Hat um, with a few awesome LA and non-LA bands um, co-presenting with two of my friends, Daydream Group and Radio Gumball, which I'll obviously put the links down below or whatever you do on YouTube. Um, <laughs> Um, and yeah, so here we are, Sunday, May 1st. I have no events in May um, because I am planning summer and fall and 2017. Um, so kind of want to keep it quiet on the um, event front while I promote uh, my next event in June um, to get you guys curious about what's going to be happening um, in the next few months here at Beating Lights. Um, yeah, can't complain. Things are good. Um, there's been something that's been super cool that's been happening um, that I've been starting to realize. It's happening in the past few weeks um, and that's been the, the, the fact that I feel like I've been receiving a lot back from you. Um, in terms of the relationships that I slash Beating Lights I'm building with people out there, bands, um, whatever, brands, um, managers, and anybody out there who I've been working with, I feel like, um, I feel like you also feel the same way I do about you. <laughs> um, for a long time I felt like the relationships that I was trying to create were one way and I felt like people would come to shows, bands would play my events, but then they'd leave and they wouldn't, there would not be anything beyond the one event that was happening or beyond the one photo shoot that we had or whatever it was. I felt like the relationships were not um, going beyond what the current project at hand was or whatever um, and so that was something that I've been that I was trying to figure out while I was going through the rebrand in 2015 um, and relaunching in January this year trying to figure out how to make you care as much as I do but also how to show you that I actually care enough to be putting this time into it and into you um, and hoping that I receive the same back because friendship is a two-way street, like all sorts of relationships are, and I felt like, well, I probably wasn't going about it the right way either, probably because I didn't know what I was trying to do. I wasn't, I didn't really care about beating lights as much as I do now, and I didn't realize that, um, how important that is, how important building these relationships is, um, and how much, um, you know, creating relationships that go beyond just the work that we're doing together is. Um, so yeah, we can shoot, you know, we can ha book me for a photo shoot and like I can have you play my events and we can do all these cool things together and collaborate and work and um, help each other out. But the best part is when, um, is when we become friends at the end <laughs> um, and we can, we can have this relationship beyond Beating Lights and whatever it is that we're doing together, what I'm doing separately and what you're doing separately. I've gotten some questions about how um, how I am, you know, being successful in whatever I have been doing, how I can get people out to shows, how I can get venues to reply to my emails, how I can get bands to reply to my emails. 
I mean, I like, I don't really know how I'm getting any of this done. It's not, the, there's no one answer. I'm not getting anyone to do anything for me. I'm just attempting. I'm going through everything that I do and approaching it with the desire to build a relationship. I'm not going into it with like, all right, so I have a slot to fill and I'm, I need a band to fill it. I'm going with, all right, which band do I want to start collaborating with? Which which band do I want to start building a relationship with? And when a band realizes that, and you know, when they, when they are open to that sort of longer term collaboration, friendship, that's when I feel like I am successful in what I'm trying to do. And it's just been gonna be a matter of like trying to keep that up and finding other people who are interested and down to build that sort of community. Um, so yeah, like if you wanted me to come out to your shows, I'd love to, but if you also wanna hang out with me, um, let's do it. Invite me up to San Francisco and I'll you know, spend the weekend shooting your recording sessions or whatever it is you want me to do. I'm down to do it. I'm down to give you my time, as long as you're also down to give me your time. Um, it's a two-way street. And so far, so good. So, so, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Um, hopefully this has been recording. Uh, hopefully this turned out well, because I don't want to say all that again. Um, that's about it. See you when I see you around town. It's gonna be a busy month. Um, it's gonna be a busy month on the back end of everything. Um, and I'm excited to, I'm excited for stuff. Um, for summer, for fall, for 2017, 2018, 2019. Um, yeah, it's gonna be cool. So I'm gonna go shower now. <laughs> um, I will see you around town. Have a good weekend. Bye. <laughs>